In the present tense, there are so many verbs that are irregular in all different kinds of ways. And a lot of them are irregular only in the yo form, which is I in Spanish. And today we're going to talk about a very specific group. Verbs that end in G-E-R and G-I-R, where the G changes to a J before the O. All right, so to understand the, this kind of exception to the rule, you have to understand pronunciation in Spanish. The letter G actually is a little different the way we pronounce it in front of some vowels and then, you know, in front of others. So for the vowels A, O, or U, it makes a G sound. So here are a couple examples. Yoga. Garaje. Guru. Gorro. So a lot of these are cognates. Uh, yoga. Garaje. Garage. Uh, gorro, baseball cap, <laughs> and guru, and guru. And when we have the G before an E or an I, this changes. For example, angel, uh, gira, una gira. So angel, as we've seen, angel, okay? And gira, like una gira, uh, is like a tour, like a tour, like una gira mundial. And again, it makes an H sound, H, like gira. Y que es lo que he dicho antes, gira y ángel, okay? So that takes H sounds. And sometimes, obviously, with ángel, like you can have that H guttural sound in certain countries as well, but universally, no. So again, a G before an A, O, or U makes a G sound, and a G before an E or an I makes a H sound. So when we're taking verbs that only end in G-E-R and G-I-R, we want to maintain that H sound. Now, with all regular present tense endings that end in verbs of, like that are verbs that end in E-R or I-R, you have for E-R verbs, remember the endings are O, S, E, hemos, es, en. So for example, if we were to take the verb, I'm trying to think of one that would work, um, escoger, to choose then we would be conjugating it as follows. Only the G changes to a J in the O form. Because again, of all those endings, the O is the only vowel that makes that G sound different. So to maintain that escoger, it's yo escojo, the J. And that's the only change. Look at the rest. So repeat after me. Yo escojo. Tú escoges. Él escoge. Nosotros escogemos. Vosotros escoges. Ellos escogen. So these verbs end in G-E-R. Couple them escoger to choose. Recoger to pick up. Proteger, to protect. And uh, another one you're going to hear a lot in Spain. It's appropriate in Spain, but in other countries, it's completely inappropriate. But in Spain, they use the verb coger as in to catch your, like a bus or a train or whatnot. So those are G-E-R verbs. Now, the same applies to G-I-R verbs. But remember, our I-R endings are a little different. It's O, S, E, but nosotros, vosotros are different. Imos, is, en. So if we were to take the verb, por ejemplo, um, exigir, to demand or require, it'd be yo, remember it only changes in the yo form, G to J. Yo exijo, repeat after me, yo exijo. Tú exiges. Él exige. Nosotros exigimos. Vosotros exigís. Ellos, ellos exigen. And that's how you do G-E-R, G-I-R verbs. Now, a couple of the other G-I-R verbs, just so you know, we talked about G-E-R verbs being escoger, recoger, um, proteger. Some G-E-R verbs are... Um, Corregir, to correct. Dirigir, to direct. 
elegir, what we just did, to, to elect, as in a candidate, or also to choose, like escoger. Uh, fingir is to pretend. Uh, and then surgir is to surge, like when something like surges as a topic of conversation or whatnot. And that's about it. So those are G-E-R and G-I-R verbs, how they change G to J only in the O form in the present tense. For more videos on content, whether it's grammar, vocab, tourism, a travel tips and whatnot, go to makingspanishsimple.com and subscribe today.